Yeah, I think we should go. Why don't we go comments? Because we got some stuff in. We got some Q and A. Right, and this is gonna be great because I haven't seen any of them. Let's see what we got. First off, congratulations to the five Bills players who won the prize for the Rona. They just won a two-week vacation. Oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Rookies? Sir- nah, Siren Neal, uh, Duke Johnson. Taylor. Yeah, Vincent Taylor, Dane Jackson, and... I almost forgot Vincent Taylor's on the team. People were saying that Vince Taylor was, like, going to be the guy that steps up now that Star's out. I'm not there. I don't remember a haze on the list. Here we go. Jordan Sinikowski. Jordan Sinikowski! One of the OGs. He is he's an OG. OG. He's like a 200th sub yeah. OG. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's been around for a while. I've got a question for your next video. If possible, if the beginning of the NFL season is postponed, say, a month or two, how will that impact a team like the Bills, where all the players have been together for a long time? I think it's a great question. It's a great question. <clears throat> I, I, mm, the defense. Defense, yeah, but even on the offensive side of the football, you look at your impact players, and sure, you lost Feliciano, right? <sighs> Don't even get me started on that. I know. I know. The jersey's in the mail. No, no, it's not. No, no it's not. If there was a guy I was going to buy a jersey, it was, it was Feliciano. Yeah, and I don't blame you. He needs to get in the car. John, Mongo, if you watch this, please come in the car. You challenged him, and he accepted. He accepted the challenge by liking the tweet. I don't know if it was a challenge. I said, if I said, if for I, me, the funniest guy that I could pick outside, probably like Trey White. Trey I mean, would be a riot. Trey would be hysterical because he's just he's just so animated and riot. fun. But I think Mongo would have so much fun in the car. Yeah, pretty confident that the team would frown upon the spatial arrangement inside the Murano. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. You could fit in the car seat. That's I'm not a problem. Yeah. No, I could fit in that. He would have to sit up front. I mean, we can't put him in the back. Imagine we show up with my Prius. <laughs> be like Big Show and Mark Henry getting into it. He's like, uh, do I focus. sit on top of this thing? <laughs> what are you guys doing? We're just going to sit here and drink? <laughs> Most of the team, give or take, I, can, I mean, I can't, I'm not going to give you exact numbers of how many players have been on the team for more than two years. Mm-hmm. Like, since Allen got here in 2018, how many of those players are still here? They were cleaning so, house. So that's process. a litmus test to you is when Allen arrived. I would say because not just one year, but two. Okay. I would say two years because um, you got to understand that from, I'm just off the top of my head, from an offensive standpoint, Beasley and Brown, they've been here one year. They have to get used to playing with Diggs. Mm-hmm. If they had already had done that, I'd have a different feeling of it. But it's oh, all yeah. new. It's brand new with Diggs. Having him as an impact player, there might be a lot more things that open up for Brown and Beasley underneath. Maybe Knox, Croft, if he's coming back, if he's going to be that guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and for the running game as well. I mean, you want to talk about Singletary just got his feet wet. So he's in his second year. Mm-hmm. So he's going to be more – acclimated physically to the pros, but as far as team chemistry and the usage of him, not no Frank Gore there, um, they must have been really confident in his development if they let Frank go. Because yeah. Gore could have stayed for another $2 million. Like, uh-huh. it's not a big deal. Right. And can we stop with Shady, please? Ring Jason. That's another. No, I mean, everyone's mad about it. Like, what are you, you guys out of work. What are you mad about? He already got a ring. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right. He Never didn't mind. play, but he got a <laughs> Well, maybe that's the difference. Well, plus, the Rob Johnson, Johnson treatment. <laughs> Man, this car just got stinky. <laughs> um, it's the coffee. Sure. <laughs> Think of it this way. What other team would have been easier for him to slide in and play for? Eagles. Mm. Tampa makes a lot of sense because I know they're saying that Brady's going to learn Arians' offense, but let's be real. They're not. Brady's not learning Arians' offense. No. Brady's going to bring in a bunch of his own stuff. And, and Shady already coming from 
something similar in Buffalo. I, I, I'm just uh, saying, well, I, I, I get um, it. Arians is a different cat, number one. Number two, and then this episode's taking a completely different turn. Um, number two, why I, you know, why I said the Eagles is the recently retired Darren Sproles, if you put Shady in that role, he could, you know, because he can still can't catch. Yeah, but he, Shady's not going to want to go where David Montgomery is, right? Or not Montgomery's in Chicago. Um, who's at, they just drafted him. Who's in, who's with the Eagles? Just drafted him. It was Jordan Howard and, ah, uh, it's escaping me. It's not Miles Sanders, is it? It is Miles Sanders. Oh. I wouldn't want to go there. No, I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, I mean, yeah, but to get back to that real quick, Peyton Manning went to Denver. A lot of the concepts, he had an OC that came over. Mm-hmm. It wasn't Gase. It was somebody else, like mm-hmm. an offensive assistant or something, came with him. So a lot of the calls that he was doing, he was still able to do. So the adjustment period for him wasn't that bad. There's going to be some calls that come from New England. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um but I think Arians is like, no, this is my offense. We're, we're gonna we're gonna run and go. We're, this is the thing though, Arians likes airing it out down the field. I don't understand. This. I think Brady had like the fourth most downfield attempts last season. Like he was up on the list for downfield attempts. I was shocked. I'm pretty sure. But a lot James of those. James Winston was too. <laughs> Bills offense. So the defense, I think we're both pretty solid on. The defense is gonna be the defense. Whether you give them two months, whether you don't, they're they're in a better shape than a lot of other teams because it's all incumbent. Anybody that they brought in is of no necessity at this point. The guys that are missing time, Dane Jackson, Sierra Neal, they're gonna be out for a while. You're not you're not hurting for them, right? You're not you're not missing anything right now. Out of the gate, Butler will have greater impact than Jefferson. Uh, yes, very much so. Because we that. know about the connections and all that stuff. So right. that's why they get guys that are familiar. And from the offensive side of the ball, because of the recent news of Mongo, mm-hmm. how awesome is that Daryl Williams signing? Yeah, right. I mean, right. He, I don't think a lot of people are going to draw the connection for why Daryl Williams is important there, right? So explain what you mean when you say that, because I don't, I don't know if everybody's going to say Daryl Williams, he's a tackle. Why does that impact the Feliciano injury? Well, I mean, first of all, it gives you versatility on your offensive front, all right? Two, if, if, Paul, if you're thinking of moving your 2019 Ford down inside, Makes a lot it's of a possibility. Sense. It's right tackle the right guard. Just saying, it's not a bad idea. If the struggles that <laughs> people are worried about with Williams manifested, what is the natural progression sometimes for players move from tackle? Yeah, move them inside. Anyway. He's covered. So the versatility there, it definitely ratchets up, you know, the continuity of the offensive line because I don't think Williams and OG Bobby Johnson have crossed paths with him. Nope, not that I'm aware of. Not so, that I'm aware of. Um, the, the, now it, there's a bigger onus on Mitch Moore stand healthy. Yeah, I was just going to say, Ryan Bates becomes like numero uno guy to watch now for me. Because he can play all over the line. Every position. Every position he can play. So he just, you could just circle him on the roster. He would, something would have to go horribly wrong for him not to make this football team right now because he's your backup center. I don't think that Spencer Long would outplay him. And Spencer Long's making a bunch of money. So the odds that he ends up being cut just to save money for next year is just greater. Bates is cheap. Yeah, and it, I think some 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 small part of me says that the whole addition by subtraction from the Jets, yeah, with Spencer Long was part of the, the deal there. He could play both guard positions and center. Why right. not? Yeah, yeah. There's no reason not to. No. That, was, that, was, that was a smart signing, especially since you were kind of floating the quarterback position that season anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's you're like okay, well we're bringing a new quarterback anyway, so we can play games. Yeah, 2018 was a lot of yeah. Tri-ons. Right. You think from an offensive side of the football, because I think you brought up a couple of things that are that are that are great points. One, you have an issue with the fact that you have a running back tandem that is one played really primarily as a starter for only half a season and a rookie. Mm-hmm. So that's of level concern. 
Right. The talent. I don't think anybody's worried about the talent level, but no, the experience level is of concern, right? And then the the comfortability between Brown, Beasley, and Diggs, because it took a little bit of time for Brown and Beasley to really be effective in this offense. So does Diggs get the same learning curve as them from the fans, or does Diggs expect is like is it expected that Diggs gonna is gonna come in and be the true number one he's dropped bought you know brought in to be? Well, that depends on the guy that people think is very inaccurate. Josh Allen. I mean, a lot of people. It's gonna it's gonna come back to Allen. Now, if this was a developed offense mm-hmm. where they were. Dude, come Clicking. on. We're, yeah, we're in year three. It's, I know. We're not developed yet. I'm, do you think it is? Did you see something in, in Houston you can't ask that me this told question. you? Did you, you see something? Ask me this question. I'm going to give you an answer you don't like. I know. <laughs> I, I'll like it. Believe me, I'll like the answer. <laughs> no, I mean, did you see something in this offense that showed that, okay, we could take this guy out of this offense and plug him in, and we're going to be better? Okay, will the offense be better with Diggs? Yes. Does the offense of a Devin Singletary Moss tandem better than a Gore Singletary's tandem? I believe it will. Mm-hmm. Not right away, but I think it would. Yes. Long term, it will right. be better. Yes. So that being said, it's still a developing offense because of, and I know they add new parts every year. It's still a developing offense in that respect. So you can't just say, "Oh, this is going to plug it in good. Mm-hmm. This is good." Um, I think they have the talent to do that. But it hasn't manifested, mm-hmm. or else they would have beat Houston, mm-hmm. I believe. I don't know. Could have been a lot of young guys in this team, a lot of mm-hmm. new players thrown together. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, last year the offense was totally remade. So I, you do get a pass for that, right? Because nice you, pun. What? Oh, okay, you're right. Zing. Got him. Rebuilding the offense <laughs> does allow you the ability to be a little bit more patient. Okay. Right yes. with the progress. However, um, the first five weeks to me are Dable still has to prove that he belongs because he still has to prove that he belongs on the coaching staff. I'm sorry, I'm still first five weeks. You gotta give me the first five weeks. You made the same bet last year. I know <laughs> that Seagram's tasted terrible. Oh, it always does. Like I'd rather drink a Zima with a Jolly Ranger in it. I have a couple in my fridge. Oh, God. I'm not making that bet. <laughs> we can do that bet. I happen to have the supplies. We've made so many bets, I forgot them. I know. I know.